New to Splatoon 3 is the locker room which is located behind the shellout machine in the lobby. It contains viewable lockers of your friends who play the game, along with people you've previously played with online. It also contains your own locker that you can customize with decorations, stickers, parts, weapons, gear, and even the type of locker. These locker customizations can be found, earned, and bought throughout the Hotlantis General Store, Alterna, Salmon Run, the Shellout Machine, and even through Table Turf Battles. There are a lot of locker customizations available to us right now, with more of them most likely being added through the lifespan of the game in future seasons. The cost of locker customizations varies from extremely cheap to ridiculously expensive, depending on the customization itself. Some locker customizations can only be bought with fish scales, which is earned by grinding out Salmon Run and fighting the Kohozuna. Today, I'm going to go over the current top 10 most expensive locker customizations you can get right now in Splatoon 3. At the number 10 spot, costing 85,850 cash, is the Sea Cucumber Phone. You can actually see Inklings and Octolings taking out this phone in the square sometimes. This suggests that every player has the actual equipment available, although they are typically not often seen. The Sea Cucumber Phone has the appearance of a purple flip phone because, well, it is a flip phone. It is interesting to note, however, that in previous games, Phones were locked by species, meaning that before, Inklings had squid-shaped phones, while Octolings had octopus-shaped phones. The Sea Cucumber being the first phone to be available to both species is pretty cool. For the number 9 spot, we have the ANG-0 Hollow Character Sticker. This sticker has the appearance of an angry octopus with a holographic shine to it, which is most likely the meaning of its name as well. The holographic shine always looks nice on stickers and, more specifically, the weapon stickers you get after maxing out a weapon's freshness to three stars. I can see someone buying this holographic sticker if they want to have a holographic sticker collection for their locker. Personally, I've been really into collecting holographic weapon stickers, but I don't really see myself buying this holographic sticker as it just is simply too expensive. If I do manage to get it for my daily shellout machine use, then sure, why not? I'll add it to my holographic collection. At our number 8 spot, costing 89,600 cash, is the Tower Control Tower from the Anarchy Battle Mode. The Tower Control Tower and Game Mode has made an appearance in every single Splatoon game so far. It has the appearance of a large cube with a stake on top of it, and has a grate around the top part of the cube. You can swim through the grate parts in PvP, and you can even ink the walls of the tower. For people who absolutely adore the tower control game mode, I can see this being a worthwhile investment to add to your locker as a decoration. By doing this, you can really show your love and commitment for the game mode. The lucky number 7 spot, costing 93,800 cash, is a mysterious dried thing. Currently, there's not much information on this decoration since I guess it is supposed to be mysterious. To be honest, I don't know why someone would want this in their locker, and it's probably concerning if someone does have this in their locker, but it's probably even more concerning on why this is even for sale in Hotlantis. You know, the mysterious dried thing actually reminds me a bit of that coffee drinking alien warm thing from Men in Black, or Pasaka from the Shin Megami Tensei and Persona series. Still looks weird though. At the number 6 spot is the OKTSN G character sticker, which costs 99,999 cash. It is an octopus shaped sticker, and as the letter G in the title suggests, it is a gold holographic sticker, which is pretty neat to look at. This sticker most likely exists as a sticker you'll buy later down the road when you've played the game for a while to spend your excess cash on. Having a gold holographic sticker though is a pretty strong flex, as it does separate you from the peasants who don't have it. It just really drives home the fact that you, my friend, are rich. Or just really lucky if you received it from the shellout machine. We're halfway there with our number 5 spot costing a whopping 101,010 cash is the SQSN Hollow Character Sticker. 
It has the appearance of a squid-shaped sticker with a marvelous holographic shine to it. Currently, this is the most expensive sticker you can own, and for good reason too, since it looks so damn fresh. If you see this sticker available in the shop, you'll most likely lament over the fact that you probably don't have enough cash to buy it. It being a holographic sticker, and currently the most expensive sticker, definitely has value to me. Though while I'll probably not buy this in the shop if it's offered, I wouldn't mind seeing this as my reward from the shellout machine. The number 4 spot, we have the Surveyor Tripod Decoration, which costs 160,900 cash. It has the appearance of, well, a Surveyor Tripod, which makes sense considering its name. It might be funny to put the Surveyor Tripod inside your locker, so whenever someone opens up your locker, they might think you're watching them. However, the drawback to this is that you yourself might be watched by a secret FBI Splatoon agent, so do be aware. All jokes aside though, in Splatoon 3's Hero Mode, whenever you fully explore an area, a green surveyed notification will appear on your map. Maybe in the actual lore of Splatoon, we are using the Surveyor Tripod to survey the area, which is pretty cool to think about. We're at the top 3 now, and for the number 3 spot, costing 180,300 cash is the spawner. This is the same spawner that is used to help you respawn after you get splatted. It has the appearance of an espresso machine, believe it or not, as it compresses and heats the ink to have you respawn. Interestingly enough, previous Splatoon games also have had this coffee machine theme, which is cool that they kept the tradition in this game as well. It would be a pretty cool April Fools type of prank, where after getting splatted in PvP, instead of respawning back at the spawn, you instead get respawned at your locker. It would be a pretty funny joke, but I doubt this would actually happen. The number 2 spot, the Super Sea Snail, costing a total of 333,333 cash, because this is Splatoon 3, baby. And guess what? Ya boy! actually has this decoration himself. It is still only a decoration though, not the real thing, so you can't use this to reroll your slots or raise your star power, so keep this in mind before you buy it. Although having one of the most expensive decorations in the game is definitely a huge flex, and I'm totally not making this video just to flex this decoration. Later down Splatoon 3's life cycle though, I can definitely see people's lockers being filled to the brim with just the Super C snails as a type of flex since it is the most expensive decoration costing cash. So, if you see this decoration on sale or if you are lucky enough to get it at the shellout machine, you should display it for the world to see as it is currently the most expensive locker customization regarding cash. And now, the number one spot, the current most expensive Locker customization is unique in that, while every other locker customization on this top 10 is available through Hotlantis or the Shellout Machine, this decoration is only available through Salmon Run. The decoration I'm talking about is the Goldie decoration, exchangeable exclusively as a reward for 100 gold scales, not cash. What makes this decoration expensive is the cost regarding the scales, but also your time. To even unlock this item, you need to reach certain milestones by spending certain amounts of bronze, silver, and gold scales. This isn't even considering the fact that gold scales are currently hard to grind for. As an extreme example, the best chances of receiving a gold scale in Salmon Run is playing a Kohozuna round at hazard level max for a whopping 3% chance to receive a gold scale. You should also keep in mind that you only have that 3% chance whenever you receive a Kohozuna round, which isn't as often as you'd prefer. The overall time to grind the gold scales is ultimately what puts this at the number one spot. You can easily grind cash in Salmon Run and eat certain foods to increase your battle cash earned through PvP. However, there isn't really much you can do to increase the number of scales earned. Unless they change how the scales are awarded, you'll be grinding Salmon Run for a long, long while before you get the chance 
to buy this decoration. However, once you do receive this decoration, since it's only available through Salmon Run and isn't available through any other means, it is the ultimate flex. The actual endgame flex, in my opinion. And that's the top 10 most expensive items you can currently get in Splatoon 3. Let me know what you all think. Is it what you expected or did some items on this list surprise you? If you found this video useful, feel free to subscribe as I do plan on doing more Splatoon videos like this in the future.